What is up guys and welcome back to the Raid Shadow Legends video with me, The Real Deal. So today I'm going to be showing you a really strong team comp that helped carry me from Gold 2 to Gold 3 in Tag Arena. Um, yeah, I was literally just blitzed through people and it is such a strong team comp. I just thought I had to share it with you guys. And the best thing about it as well is that you don't have to have the same champions that I have. You can use different champions and you can definitely scale it back for Silver. So say if you're in Silver 1... Using this sort of team comp should easily carry you to Silver 4. And if you've got like a strong enough roster or a large enough roster and you've played long enough, you could even probably get into Gold 1 as well, which is just like a huge, huge thing to do. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are in Gold 3 right now. Um, and as a free-to-play player, I never thought I'd be able to get into Gold, let alone Gold 3. Um, I've been playing for two and a half years though, so it's taken me a long time to build up that roster and get that gear. Um, but... Just before we have a look at the team as well, um, I do want to show you my defense. So defense is a massive part of Tag Arena. Um, it will take you a while to build up those champions. And what you want to try and do is, as you can see, I use um, Hegemon, I use Valkyrie, uh, not Valkyrie, so I use Hegemon, I use um, Arbiter, I use um, Trunda and Yoshi. I use all those on my offensive team. So what you want to try and do so you want to use champions that double up as defensive champions as well. So that will, you know, save you time having to build up extra champions. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I've been playing for two and a half years. I've been very lucky and got um, two Arbiters and a Hegemon. Um, I've got three Valkyries. So Valkyrie was actually the first legendary I ever pulled. Um, I had one Sacred. I didn't know what I was doing. There was a 10 times on and I managed to get her in that 10 times. So I was very lucky. And then probably about... Ooh, Probably about four months ago, I pulled two within a month of each other. I was quite annoyed at the time because, you know, I don't have like a huge roster and I'd rather have a diverse roster than lots of dupes. Um, but saying that though, Valkyrie has like really pushed my account into uh, into gold, so I can't really complain. But, you know, my account's not like super strong. Like I'm missing loads of OP champions. I don't have a Warlord, Seafy, Duchess, Prince Kaima, Withia. There's so many champions that I'd love to have in my account that I don't have. But, um, you know, you have to make with make do with what you have. And, you know, you need to figure out team comps that can help carry you. So um, let's hop into uh, Classic Arena and start taking on some people. And I'll show you the team comp. Okay, so just before we uh, hop into Arena, I do want to show you how I've set up the team. So we've got Marcy Yoshi, Foley, Madame and Cupidus. Uh, Yoshi's going to go first. He's going to use Battle Toast which basically uh, throws out true fear and increases our team's accuracy. Then Madame will go second. We want her to prioritize Midnight Ritual, which is basically going to strip buffs, decrease attack, and most importantly, decrease defense so we can drop heads. Um, Cupidus is going to pop off second and um, with his A2. And then we want Foley to finish off anyone that's um, stand, still standing with Sealed Fate. And that's also going to block revives as well, so it's really, really strong. Um, on average, I'd say... Um, a fight will last between 20 to 30 seconds. So it's quite fast as well. And when you get higher up in um, Tag Arena, you know, you get like two to five, you can even get five minute long fights just because people do have their teams so strong and so tanky. So it's a really good way to sort of um, try and finish people off quickly. Um, in general, I'd say it has quite, well, I've been very successful with it. Um, so let's just go against this Blender comp. It should be very easy for us to win. Um, so the secret ingredient to this team comp is the stone skin. Um, you know, back in the day, people used to use immunity all the time. But the problem with immunity is that you need to go first because you still don't have that sort of survivability. Um, so, you know, it's not always a good option. However, the other thing that's great about stone skin as well is it's, it's very much like reaction gear as well. So it's like reaction gear and immunity had a baby together and produced stone skin. So obviously having that reduced damage as well, you know, it's just so good and so useful and like we just came against this sort of weird blender comp and just absolutely just breezed through them so this team really counters speed teams it's really good against hegemon torment arbiter um there's a team here that looks really strong 379k with uh lydia um krisk torment and Seafi. so this is a solid team comp uh, let's just go for it and see what happens hoping we get the w here but 379k is pretty pretty tonk uh but yeah, we should hopefully just blitz through them though. So I'm going to leave on auto, but turn it off if I just have to, just in case. So yeah, fear on everyone. Lydia popping off with her fears, but we're just, of course, we're just ignoring that. Then we're going to strip all those lovely buffs on everyone. 
Tom's going to attack. We've dropped almost the whole team and Foley's finished them off. So that's 18 seconds as well. And that was a solid, solid team. So you can see it's really fast. And yeah, we just annihilated a solid team right there. Um, so team things to watch out for. We do not want to go against teams with Prince Kaimar in. So anyone that can strip buffs from us, we want to avoid. So that includes Madame as well. Um, anyone that does uh, reduce cooldown, um, yeah, increase cooldowns on us. So um, Yumiko, Warlord, anyone like that, you've got to avoid those as well. So, you know, this team's not perfect. There are counters to it. Um, Cardinal would probably be a massive pain as well because we're going to use all our big abilities and then they're going to revive again. Um, but do you know what? Let's go for it and just see what happens. And I'm also going to try and take on this Lurious team as well. I think they're both going to be losses. Um, it's, this is not a smart thing to do, but I'm just going to do it just to show you guys as well. Just to, you know, I don't want to make this team look like it's invincible. But like I said, it has carried me to gold free and it is a really strong team against the right people. So we managed to get a fear on uh, good old Mountain King, who is, you know, as you all know, hard hitting champion. Yeah, he's no, he's not missed his turn. So managed to strip off some most people. Uh, of course, Mithrala's cut in though. And we didn't manage to get any kills there, unfortunately. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a loss. Um, yeah, Mithrala sort of screwed us over there as well, unfortunately. Um, maybe I could speed tune this team a little bit better. But um, might still get the win. Ah, oh. so he should have used his A1 there instead of his um, A2, I think it was. But anyway, it's fine. Try and get the fear on Mountain King. Nope. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a loss. Let's uh, let's skip. Let's leave that one. Let's let's call it a day. Let's not kid ourselves. Um, so yeah, let's give this one a go. So you can still be Kaimar and Madame teams just because it is sort of 50-50. Um, but there are a few things that can cause us issues here, like Brogni, putting those big shields on the team as well can cause problems. Um, obviously Prince Kaimar's worth. He straight away, yeah, he's definitely going to screw us over. Yeah, that's pretty much a loss then. Yeah. So as you can see, that is just the, definitely a no-go. But let's uh, let's try and come across some other teams that I feel like we can beat and get some easy wins. Okay, so we're going to take on this Hegemon team. We just blitz straight through them. Let's uh, see what happens. So Hedgy comes on. Of course, he gets all ignored. Lydia, we're ignoring all her debuffs as well. Trenda comes in. Doesn't do any damage to us. And then we're going to strip with Madame. Cupidus is going to come in and just drop heads. We didn't even need Foley to finish them off. And literally just blitzing three people, no problem. So another Tallman team, let's go against them. Um, so this team as well, you can really scale this back. You don't need to have these champions. Um, you know, Yoshi can be replaced by anyone that does increase accuracy that just goes first. Um, Madame, a bit of a difficult one to replace. She could be replaced by anyone that does drop the defense, but... You really do want someone that's going to strip buffs as well, like uh, Rian, um, was it Ryan, Ryan the Conjurer that you get from Doom Tower for free, or um, Prince Kaimar. I mean, there's not a lot of champions that do um, strip buffs, but it does help a lot. Um, Madame was obviously best in her class. Um, then Foley and Cupidus can be replaced by anyone. You just need hard hitting nukers. So this is going to be the last fight. We've got Arbiter, Hegemon. Tormund and the Fox Lady. Um, we're going to count this hard. You know, if I was to go with this with like a very standard team comp with like, you know, Arbiter, um, then another turn meter and then CC and a Nuka, I'll be quite scared to go against this team. I'd definitely get screwed over. But this team is literally, you know, as you've already seen, it's quite easy, quite straightforward. But yeah, we're just going to walk straight through them. So Stone Skin comes on. Block that Hegemon. Ignore that Tormen. Fox Lady does nothing. And then we throw out our fears. Get some leeches on there as well. Strip those buffs. Drop that defense. And then Cupid is going to come in and almost drop the whole team. And then Foley is going to finish things off. And that's it. Another easy win. That is how strong this team comp is. And I highly recommend that you use it. Um, you know, it should really help people progress in tag arena 
no matter where you are, as long as you're farming Hydra and you're getting your stone skin gear, if you can get four champions in this gear in a similar similar setup, you should be able to just get through so many teams. And the great thing about this team as well is you could use this on defense as well and really catch people off guard. Um, you know, people think, oh yeah, um, I just need to bring in my speed team. You know, I can definitely outspeed a Yoshi or, or even just cut into this team. And that's not the case. And then you're just going to turn around and just drop their team. And that's going to help push you up the ladder as well. Because if you're getting wins in defense, that is going to progress you. You know, it's going to get you points um, or extra points that you weren't going to have originally. And should really help bump you up in arena. So let's check out the gear. Um, we'll start off with Master Yoshi since he's going first. Um, I do actually need to speed tune him a little bit better. He needs to be faster than Madame. He needs to be your fastest, then Madame, then Cupidus, then Foley. Um, so he's got 56k HP. He's got 2.5k defense, 195 speed, and then 542 accuracy. Speed and accuracy are like the most important stats on him for this build. Um, and we've got stone skin and accuracy set. So speed, the subsets you're looking for are speed and accuracy. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of resistance is good as well. Um, but yeah, that's the main things that we're looking for. So masteries, not quite finished them uh, as per usual. Um, so we've got basically, again, support all about focusing about accuracy. The most important thing, though, is eagle eye. That's really what we're focused on. Um, and I decided to go for defense. So just lots of supportive stuff. But really important one here, the wisdom of battles, basically. Um, after we've lo lost our stone skin, if someone does put stun, sleep, fear on us, and, and we survive, then we've got 30% of putting block debuffs on us as well. So that's really useful, really powerful. Um, and also um, a chance of removing debuffs from ourselves as well if we lose uh, a bit of HP as well. So that's really, really useful. Great thing as well to have on him is Harvest of Despair. So we can put Leech on the enemy as well when we throw out our true sphere. So that gives us a chance of um, getting heals as well. So that's really, really useful. Um, but yeah, it's all about survivability really. Next up, let's do Madame. Madame number three. So yeah, just before, as you can see, I've not even finished our masteries, but when I do, it's going to be very similar to Master Yoshi's, and it's all, the most important thing, it is just about that eagle eye. And there will be useful stuff in defense tree. Um, she's not going to be doing any damage. There's no point in taking any offense. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's all about the support tree. The defense tree is just nice to have, but it's not as important as that eagle eye. Um, so not even got a ring, not even got a ring. I've not even rolled up all her gear, but that is how strong she is. So she's in perception and stone skin. Um, total stats, we've got 41k HP, 2.8k uh, defense, 215 speed. So she is faster than my master Yoshi, so I do need to tune him up a bit. She's got 500 um, accuracy, so she's got a decent amount. Um, not glyphed up her gear yet either. Same again, just speed and accuracy, speed and accuracy, speed and accuracy. Um, yeah, ring could be absolutely anything, it's whatever you feel like. Um, and a bit of resistance as well on her is really good as well. I could actually change this banner actually for a slower one. Um, but yeah, so that's all good. Then let's have a look at Cupidus, scroll back to the top. Nope, gone past him. Oh yeah, do you know, so he, uh, he's got a blessing on him, but I've not chosen one yet. So just to point out on him as well, I've not used any books on him yet. Um, he definitely does need them because it will just massively increase his, well, it increases damage decent about, but also, um, well, having that buff chance as well is quite useful as well. Um, also, his A1 would really benefit from damage as well. So yeah, definitely need to do that. So he's in Crawl and Stone Skin. Um, obviously, because I can't put Savage on him, it's nice to have that Crawl just to have that um, extra bit of ignore defense. Um, start with total stats again, so 43k HP, 5.3k um, defense, 177 speed, so really, really slow, 105% crit rate, and 259 uh, crit damage. If I could, I'd love to, you know, bump up his accuracy, but it's just so hard when you're trying to focus on attack and crit damage as well. So it is okay to sort of bypass it. So crit damage gloves, um, attack percentage chest, boots, I should really switch him out for attack ones, but then he'll be slower than my Foley, and I want him to go before Foley because of that block revive. And then it's all just about substats we're looking for are sort of just speed, crit rate, crit damage, and attack percentage. 
Um, and then banner, we've gone for attack, um, crit damage on the amulet, and then attack ring. Also a reaction one as well, because that can be useful. Um, just in case, say, someone does strip um, strip our stain skin, then we've still got that to help us sort of have bits of viability. So Foley in a broken set, and then um, stone skin again. So total stats, we've got 38k HP, 5k attack, 152 um, speed, so it is slow. I do need to get that extra crit rate on him. I'm going to have to find it somewhere, because um, you want 100%. I have seen times where it's not crit and it is frustrating, especially because he does like multi hits as well. You want every one of those multi hits to crit. Um, and then he's got 260 crit damage. So, same again. The same way you build all your nukers is all about crit rate, crit damage, attack, and a bit of speed. Um, but yeah, this is like one of those one build, so where speed, you can sort of, you know, like I said, it's okay to go slow because we are going second. And then mastery is very, very standard. Um, I should really smooth that support tree over defense. This is a very old build. But the offense tree is perfectly, that is perfect. That's fine. Um, we don't need to worry about stake to fury because we're not going to be having any debuffs on us. Um, and opportunity is great because we're throwing out fears on the enemy as well. And yeah, just all standard stuff. And defense tree are just, the most important ones are just uh, retribution and deterrence, getting those counterattacks off, that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, and so I actually did skip Cupidus' mastery, so let's go back to those. So yeah, these are the masteries you want for Cupidus, and it's pretty much the same for Foley. And what I would do is um, take deterrence over um, increasing our A1, the A1's damage. So yeah, definitely better to take deterrence over that. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much, yeah, that's the builds, that's the masteries. Um, you've seen the team comp. That is pretty much the end of the video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please give me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.